So welcome back to another advanced math video tutorial. This time we will discuss different forms of complex number. So we have four different form, namely rectangular form or standard form. The second one is the polar form. The third one is the exponential or Euler's form. And the last one is a trigonometric form. So first is rectangular or standard form of complex number. So consists of real part and imaginary part of our complex number z that's x plus yi this is the standard form of our complex number so these are the example of our rectangular form so we have three as the real part four as imaginary part uh, and three as a real part negative 4 as imaginary point, negative 3 as real point, 4 as uh, imaginary point, negative 3 as a real point, and negative 4 as imaginary point. So next form is polar form of complex number. So in polar form, it can be represented as C is equivalent to R at an angle theta. It can be read as R bar angle theta, where R is the modulus or the absolute value of c while our theta is the amplitude so this is in degree form so dapat yung calculate natin must be in degree form so i will convert our um Complex number, complex number in standard form to polar form. Let's have an example. Let's say we get 3 plus 4i. So we need to convert 3 plus 4i into polar form. So to convert 3 plus 4i, so that is equivalent to, so 3 plus 4i, so we need to get the value of r. And that is equivalent to 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that's equivalent to 5 and for our theta so we have letter a for our theta that is equivalent to arctan of 4 over 3 and that's equivalent to 53.13 degrees so for our 3 plus 4 i that, that is equivalent to 5 at an angle of 53.13 degrees for letter b example that's 3 minus 4i so we will get the same value of r so so we have 3 minus 4i and for 3 minus 4i our value of r is same as 3 squared plus negative 4 squared and that's also equivalent to 5. For our theta, that is equivalent to our tan of negative 4 over 3. So your calculus must be in degree form. So our tan of negative 4 over 3 is equivalent to negative 53 point 13 degrees so that is 5 at angle of negative 53.13 degrees so we don't have problem in the amplitude as discussed on the previous video so this time we have negative 3 plus 4i so negative 3 plus 4i that is r is equivalent to square root again of negative 3 squared plus 4 squared and this will result to a value of 5 we get the angle that is arctan of 4 over negative 3 so the angle is equivalent to negative 53.13 and again 
We observed that the value of x is negative and the value of y is positive. So we need to add 180 degrees from the previous video. So that is 126.87 degrees. So for next, that is 5 at angle of 126.87 degrees. So for the last point, that is negative 3 minus 4i. Then r is equivalent to square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. This time, it will have the same result of r is equivalent to 5. Then our angle is equivalent to arctan of negative 4 over negative 3. Kung mapansin natin, so we get the same result as in the previous problem which is 3 plus 4i. In 3 plus 4i, our angle is 53.13. In this case, that's also 53.13. Pero kung mapansin natin, yung ating value ng x is negative and our value of y is negative. Sabi nga natin, kung may negative x tayo, yun yung meron medyo complicated yung ginagawa. Kasi kung negative x, positive yung y, we plus 180. Kung minus yung x, minus yung y, we minus 180 to get the principal value and that is equivalent to negative 126.87 degrees. So for the fourth example, that's 5 at an angle of negative 126.87 degrees. So, the, so ganyan tayo nagko-convert from rectangular to polar form. So this time, paano naman from rectangular to exponential? So exponential form. So this is form for exponential. This time we have C is equivalent to R E J theta or R E I theta. These two are used interchangeably. Pero mostly ginagamit yung J sa malalang na sa mga electrical circuits. But we can use both naman. So dito, kailangan lang mo lang mako yung theta or the amplitude. And this time, it must be in region. So if we will convert or yung R natin is the same as modulus na nakuha natin do sa naunang form, na polar form. So, madali na to. Kailangan mo lang makuha yung theta in region. Example is yung 3 plus 4i. From the previous example, yung r nakuha natin as 5. And the angle is 53.13 degrees. We just need to convert this degree into region. So, we need to multiply pi over 180 degrees. So, 53.13 times pi, divide 180 degrees, and that's equivalent to 0.927. So meaning, our value will result to 5. This time we have E, 0.927, at wag lilimutan yung I. Kasi kung walang I yan, magiging lang siyang real number. So, this time, kung mapasin natin, same lang naman sila ng angle. So, mangyari lang dito, we need to convert 53.13. So, negative 53.13 times pi over 180 and that will result to negative 0 0.927 na nakarayan. So, meaning this will result to 5 e negative 0 0.927 ay lang. Then, same um, process dun sa ating third and fourth example. So, si 126.87 lang. Gagawin lang natin siyang radian. 
that is 126.87 times pi divided 180 degrees. So this will result to what value? So 126.87 times pi divided by 180 is 2.214. So 2.214. So dito, mayari lang dyan is 5 T 2.214 Ay, kung mapapansin naman natin, yung third and fourth example, kaiba lang sila ng sign. So, magiging lang tong negative. 5 e negative 0 0.221. Sorry, that's this positive negative 2.214 i. So, 2.14 i. So, that is how we convert rectangular to exponential. Pwede naman tayong dumiretsya na. Paano dumiretsya na ng from rectangular to exponential? Pwede naman mula dito is diretsyo ko na dito. So, yung R, same lang ng process. R is equivalent to x squared plus y squared. But this time, yung angle mo, same pa rin. Tan negative 1 y over x but your calc u must in region yun yung setup ng calc nyo same lang ng formula but your calc u must be in region setup papalta natin so paano naman yung next form which is trigonometric form under trigonometric form so dinirebian from Euler form so from Euler form so meron kasi tayong um, R, E, J, theta, or R, E, I, theta. And E, I, theta is equivalent to cosine theta plus I sine theta. If that is negative, it is simply cosine theta plus or minus i sine theta. If we multiply e i theta to r, so in trigonometric form, it is simply r times cosine theta, so either plus or negative, so let's write plus i sine theta. So this is equivalent to r cosine theta, plus i r sine theta. In some book, so nireduce na lang nila to as r c i s theta. So these two are used interchangeably also. So that is how we convert um, exponential to trigonometric. So kung yan naman is from standard form, diretso ng trigonometric form, so, pwede naman kunin mo lang yung kanyang theta. Let's say, arc tan din. Y over X. Then, what yung angle is i-write mo lang dito. Kaya lang, pagkakaiba sa trigonometric form from polar and exponential, meron kasi tayong in degree form at meron tayong trigonometric form in region form. Yan. So, dalawa. Pwede yung degree pwedeng region region depende sa hinahanap so do sa example natin so in degree form we just copy the angle so we just write 5 cis 53.13 so ganun lang yan then we have 5 cis cis or Reduce form, that's only reduced form, kaya ganyan itsura niya. 53.13 degrees, then 5, CIS, 126.87 degrees, and we have 5, CIS, negative 126.87 
degrees. Then for region, that is 5. CIS, this time, we have 0.927. I is not included since meron na tayong I dito. Ito reduce form lang. Then, for 3 minus 4I, that is 5. CIS, negative 0.927. Then, 5. CIS, 2.214. So, mapansin nyo, wala na yung degree. So, we have 5, Cs, negative 2.214. So, yan ay different form of our complex number and how we'll convert from rectangular to another form. So, sa mga susunod na video, meron tayong mga miscellaneous example na from trigonometric naman, Kukumpirin natin sa rectangular or from exponential to rectangular. So, yan na yung ating topic for today. So, thank you. Please like, subscribe. Thank you.